Welcome to Subject Soup. What if killing billions of crabs could save an entire ecosystem? Dive into Italy's shocking plan to tackle a marine invasion wreaking havoc on its coasts. Killing billions of blue crabs in Italy, a solution or disaster? The Italian coastline, renowned for its stunning vistas and ecological diversity, is facing an unexpected crisis. Blue crabs, native to the western Atlantic, have found a foothold in the Mediterranean Sea, their numbers multiplying to alarming levels. While these crabs may seem like an innocent addition to the marine environment, their presence has become a significant ecological and economic threat. In response, Italy has launched aggressive campaigns to cull billions of these invaders. But as the blue crabs are being eradicated, a deeper question looms, is this the right solution, or are we setting the stage for an even bigger disaster? The blue crab invasion is a textbook example of how unintended human actions can disrupt ecosystems. Experts suggest the species was likely introduced via ballast water from international ships. Once in the Mediterranean, the crabs faced few natural predators, allowing their population to explode. Their adaptability and aggressive nature have allowed them to outcompete native species, feeding voraciously on fish, mollusks, and other marine organisms that form the backbone of the local ecosystem. This disruption has triggered a cascade of consequences, from the collapse of certain species to changes in the balance of the food chain. The environmental toll of the invasion is immense, but the economic impact is just as severe. Blue crabs destroy fishing gear, cutting holes in nets and devouring fish before they can be harvested. For coastal communities that depend on fishing as a primary livelihood, these losses are catastrophic. Beyond financial strain, the invasion poses a cultural threat, challenging centuries-old fishing traditions. The growing presence of blue crabs highlights a dangerous gap in global measures to prevent the spread of invasive species through international trade and travel. To counter this crisis, the Italian government and local organizations have taken drastic measures, including promoting large-scale coals and incentivizing fishing for blue crabs. However, these efforts have sparked a broader debate. Can we control invasive species without exacerbating ecological instability? The blue crab invasion has become a litmus test for Italy's ability to balance short-term solutions with long-term environmental sustainability. For generations, Italian coastal communities have relied on the sea for their livelihood, harvesting a rich bounty of fish, shellfish, and other marine resources. The sudden surge in blue crab populations has turned this harmonious relationship into a struggle for survival. Fishermen now return from long days at sea with nets full of crabs rather than valuable fish, leaving them with unsellable catches and mounting losses. Repairing damaged equipment has become a routine and costly necessity, further draining their resources. The economic fallout ripples through these small towns, where fishing often forms the backbone of local economies. Restaurants, seafood markets, and supply chains that rely on steady fish hauls are also feeling the squeeze. While the government has introduced subsidies to help fishermen cope with the losses, many argue that these measures fall short of addressing the broader ecological crisis. Without viable long-term solutions, the livelihoods of these communities remain under threat. Beyond economics, the blue crab invasion threatens cultural identity. Fishing in these regions is more than just an occupation, it's a way of life, a tradition passed down through generations. Stories, techniques, and rituals tied to the sea are now being overshadowed by the relentless onslaught of an invasive species. As the blue crabs proliferate, they challenge not just the environment but the very fabric of these communities, leaving many to wonder what their future holds. Despite their status as invaders, blue crabs are remarkable creatures. They are highly adaptable, able to thrive in different environments, and their fast reproductive cycle makes them both resilient and formidable. In their native waters, they play an essential role in the ecosystem. However, in the Mediterranean, they have become prisoners of human conflict, trapped in a situation where their very survival poses a threat to local biodiversity. Efforts to manage the blue crab population are varied but often brutal. Fishermen are encouraged to capture and destroy them in large numbers, while some regions are exploring ways to incorporate blue crabs into the food industry. 
Despite these initiatives, millions of crabs are discarded or destroyed without being utilized, raising ethical questions about how invasive species should be managed. Conservationists argue that turning the crabs into a resource rather than a waste product could create a more sustainable approach to the problem. Meanwhile, researchers are advocating for a deeper understanding of these crabs. Studying their behavior, biology, and ecological impact could provide valuable insights into managing other invasive species. However, balancing immediate removal efforts with long-term research remains a challenge. The crabs, often demonized in this crisis, have become symbols of a larger issue, humanity's struggle to coexist with nature in an increasingly interconnected world. As Italy continues its campaign against the blue crab invasion, the future remains uncertain. Some efforts are showing promise, such as incentivizing the culinary use of blue crabs in Italian cuisine. Chefs and seafood businesses are experimenting with recipes that could turn the invasive species into a valuable commodity. If successful, this approach could provide an economic boost to struggling communities and reduce the ecological impact of the crabs. However, large-scale extermination efforts have raised concerns among scientists and environmentalists. Ecosystems are intricate, and removing a dominant species, whether native or invasive, can have unintended consequences. Some fear that focusing on extermination rather than prevention could leave the Mediterranean vulnerable to future invasions by other species. Addressing the root causes, such as climate change and lax biosecurity measures, is critical for long-term ecological stability. Ultimately, the blue crab invasion is a global lesson in the consequences of human actions. Whether it's through international shipping or the warming of oceans, our activities have far-reaching effects on the natural world. The crisis in Italy underscores the need for innovative, ethical, and sustainable solutions to the challenges posed by invasive species. How this story ends will depend not just on what Italy does next, but on how the world chooses to respond to similar crises in the future. Thanks for watching. If you found this deep dive into Italy's battle with invasive blue crabs insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more stories about our planet's most pressing environmental challenges. Share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this bold strategy? Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.